Troy Stars, Troy Stars Trucking. Thanks for tuning in. So in this video, I have a problem, and the problem is my one of my drive tire on the on the right rear. Did I say it right? Anyway, the right rear drive tire is sticking, stopping, not releasing whenever I push the here in. For more videos like this, please subscribe. Something is wrong, right? Now, I didn't realize this because I dropped my trailer and I realized that I couldn't move. So I thought maybe, okay, maybe it's a rock or something behind the, the wheel. Okay, I get out and I look, didn't see anything, go back in the truck, I reverse. It was reversing kind of sluggish-ish, but I was like, okay, maybe, you know, the truck is whatever. Then I proceed driving off front ways, which where I was driving was in a dirt area like, so it wasn't so much holding back the truck, so I couldn't feel much you know what i mean i was feeling the jerking and the bumping but yeah i thought maybe you know but as soon as i get to the road i start feeling the truck sluggish like i have a load on it and it, it's like a so i'm like what the, you know what i mean so i went around there and i go check when i go check i realized i saw tire marks from where i was moving from to where i'm at at the moment and when i check it my tire actually burned down burn off burn like no i have a flat spot on my tire and i wouldn't i was just driving i wasn't breaking up and it's not the trailer it's just bobtailing only anyway i'm gonna show you guys what i'm talking about but what what i what i call to say is this problem happens uh five days ago and i take it to the shop right because i was close by you know um i like to get to something as soon as possible right away as it starts i want to go where the problem is diagnose get it fixed sort it out and good to go because like i always say to you guys i'm a highway trucker so i don't want any mess up to happen when i'm on the highway because you're talking about wrecker talking about road call roadside you're talking about old crap and also is the brake anything with the brake you don't want to mess around because i mean you don't want to call you don't want to be the problem to let someone lose their life so you want to pay close attention anyway i take it into a to a shop which uh, the shop was highly recommended and what whatnot right it's not my my usual mechanic you know when i'm on the road i have to do what i have to do right so i take it there the shop the truck was in the shop for two hours or uh, two hour and, and a half or something i did some other stuff on the truck so i was there like well when, when i said two and a half hours it was for the brake thing with the wheel right i know they're having me pressing the brake and releasing and pressing and releasing and they said press stop whatever whatever because i was inside the truck because you know it's covid so you have to go inside the shop at that point normally you would be in the waiting room or whatnot but i was actually anyway just telling you guys anyway i did some other stuff and my bill came to eight hundred dollars. It is in the glove compartment. I don't want to take it down, but you have to take my word for it. Cause, I, like I said, I did some other stuff. Yeah, I changed a wheel seal also. Sorry, I changed a wheel seal, so it was in the billing. But after um, I was finished, I'm done with the shop. I'm like, okay, I'm good to go. I drove when what I realized when the trailer is on the truck, it it don't really stick. It release and it roll, right? It drive. So I'm not understanding what is happening really but when as soon as i release the trailer and i'm you know gonna drive the truck the, the tractor only the wheel starts sticking so it happened to me again last night so i'm gonna go right back around to that truck shop and i'm gonna be like hello i came in here for this problem and you guys told me it was fixed and i paid now i'm back i need to get it sorted out so i'll let you guys know what happened from there but you know let me go outside and show you guys what i'm talking about okay you know i like to show so but that's the only way to for you guys to understand what i'm explaining at times hopefully i'm not parked on that block spot um not block spot okay so this is the tire this is the tire that is the thing is happening from but i'm not seeing the spot that i want to show you guys hold on
guys. Oh, ironic, eh? I would park on this spot that I want to show you guys. So I'm, I'm gonna wait until, cause I'm on the door now. I'm offloading. Um, the, the, the red light is on, so you know I can't move. But I'm going to, when I move, because I'm not seeing it, maybe, maybe I park on the spot that I want to show you guys. I'm going to wait until I get out the door, then I'm going to come back out and then I'm going to show you guys. But anyway, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to take it to the shop and as soon as I take it to the shop, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is ask them to show me the problem when they do found it. Because this is what happening now. I call my mechanic, you know my Jamaican mechanic, right? I call my mechanic and I ask him, I said, this is what happening to my tire when I'm driving, right? And he said, maybe is the spring inside the, the, the hub, the, where the, the brake drum, maybe it, that spring is, is, is weak, it's, it's going, maybe you want to change or maybe it's broken or whatnot. So he said it's inside the drum. So the guys have to go inside that drum to fix my problem. And they, I don't know what they did, but they didn't take that wheel off. I can tell you that right now. So I'm gonna go back in there and I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna, you know, raise, raise some concern, like what is happening, you know what I mean? But anyway, guys, you know, it's a boy Troy Star trucking. I'm gonna wait until I, I, I remove from the door, then I show you guys what's happening with the truck. So thank you guys for tuning in. I'm gonna go back to the shop and I'm gonna make sure they show me what the issue is when they do found it, and then we take it from there. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Troy Star truck. I just moved from the spot, so apparently the truck was on the ball spot that I want to show you guys. So this is it. This is what happened to the tire. YouTube, Troy Stars, Troy Stars trucking. Now, what was the cost of the wheel locking up on me? And would you believe it is just brake, brake dust and rust? Believe me, brake dust and rust. I know, I know that sound like it rhyme, right? But it's brake dust and rust and some little because he had to use us, uh, the, the spring was intact, everything was okay on the springs, there was no broken spring or anything like that, right? Um, I also did a, 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 a re-grease and everything, but I never imagined that it could have been like stuck by, because of, dust and, and and rust you know so yeah that's it i don't know what else to say and i was trying my best to make sure i catch everything but i, I was lost in a conversation but anyway the guy did what he did i'm gonna drive i'm gonna test drive it now and make sure i i i you know feel for everything you know what i mean but i'll keep you guys posted so it's nothing much but normally those things would occur from a broken spring or a wear out worn worn out spring you know what i mean in that old the the the, the, calip, the calipers together is that brake shoes together the two springs at the end yeah so um all of those are intact so yeah so that's the update i'm giving you guys so anyway thanks for tuning in anyways the board tries so it wasn't a big fix it was just something small like that so this mean the thing is, I, I would want to 
tell you guys what would cost something like this, but I'm not sure. So someone leave it in the description. What what, what would cost the rust on the inside to to at the inside of the drum? Uh, I'm not sure. Is it a, a burn break or something? I don't know what would cost that. No, the next thing is well, this is a used truck, so I can't really say much, right? And on on the left side is where the accident had took place when the I told told you guys about the oh I bought the truck I told you guys about the the replacement of the gas tank so something happened on that side but I'm not sure what it is so I'm not gonna but I just have the truck just for one year right um, the next thing I wanted to say was um, I think I think I'm finished right I just wanted to you know. Let you guys know what was happening. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. There's a boy, Tristar's trucking. Peace. For more videos like this, please subscribe. <laughs>